Are you looking for truth from God's Word that you can understand and apply to your life? You'll find it today on Make It Clear with Dr. Stan Pond, Bible teacher and president of Florida Bible College in beautiful Orlando. Listen now as Stan makes it clear. And welcome to a special edition of Make It Clear. My name is Pete Paquette, joining Dr. Stan Pons, president of Florida Bible College. Doctor, how are you? I am good, and I'm so grateful to be together with our listeners and with you today as we talk about our Grace and Truth Conference. You know, this is a special edition of uh, Make It Clear listeners, and uh, I'm really pleased to be invited to be part of your show today. And you're right, this is a big conference coming up, Grace and Truth Conference, in March. Tell us more about what's what's going on. Why, why do we need a, a conference like this? That's a great question. Florida Bible College has a core value of helping people to love the Lord with all of their heart, soul, and mind, and then, of course, to love others as themselves. And so in our fall semester, we emphasize heavily our spiritual life development, our intimacy with the Lord. Well, now we're into our spring semester, and we move out to help other people. So we've designed a seminar, or actually a conference, called Grace and Truth. Grace, obviously, is to encourage people, Pete, and truth is to instruct. And so this year's conference is now building on grace and truth by helping people build healthy relationships. You have a special guest this year, too. By the way, the theme, we don't want to pass that up, building healthy relationships with a special guest this year. Who, who's that going to be? Well, because we believe that building healthy relationships would be best served by someone who is a biblical counselor, we're bringing in Dr. Carl Elkins from Houston, who has his own ministry where he goes into churches and trains people as well as has his own counseling center. And he's been doing this for a long time, educated at Dallas Theological Seminary, mentored by Norm Geisler. So he will be more than just a Christian counselor. He'll be a biblical counselor, but special training in helping people build those kinds of relationships. Tell us a little bit more about, about the event itself. What, are we, what can we expect? All right. Since we're looking at a conference here on building healthy relationships, we're going to begin on Wednesday night, March the 1st, and Thursday night, March the 2nd. And the theme for those two nights are just generally building healthy relationships with others. And so we'll have, of course, couples and married people in mind, but also the singles who want to be a part of this. Some of our topics are going to be character qualities that Christ had that benefits relationships. And we're going to talk about what are the essentials to communicate better to reduce conflict. And then there's prerequisites in order to have a healthy single adult relationship. And there's many more topics that will be covered on those two nights. You can come one or the other or both because one conference will be different than the night before. That's our Building Healthy Relations, March 1st and the 2nd at 7 o'clock on campus at Florida Bible College, no charge. Then on Friday, we're moving more specifically into the area of strengthening marriages. So we're talking about building a healthy relationship in marriage and family. Now, the difference with this is going to be that it's going to be more intense. Mm -hmm. It'll be Friday night, all day Saturday. And so when that's taking place, you're going to get a breakfast in the morning on Saturday. You're going to get material. You're going to get a lunch. And there is a charge for that. $45 $45 for one person. If it's a couple, it'll be $80. And this way, you'll get a lot of bang for your buck. But the topics we're going to be covering is why there is a biblical longing for a relationship, particularly in marriage. And the top common identified needs that both men have and women have, husbands and wives, we're going to talk about, again, how to effectively communicate with one another, how to deal with the, the hurt and then heal your mate or your children that have gone through some brokenness in their life, all the time strengthening a relationship around Christ, reaching out to one another. That's Friday night and Saturday. And to register for that, just go to FloridaBibleCollege.com, and it'll give you all the information. Now, Dr. Bonds, I was just going to say, you know, I'm really feeling a strong need for this type of a program in Central Florida, really all over the place, right? But uh, there are a lot of marriages that are hurting here, aren't there? There are, and actually there's value because different groups come in and they'll uh, acquire a hotel and then they'll have you come Friday through maybe Sunday. And it's real intense and you have the room and all of that. That's all great, and so I really put my stamp on that. But they're also high dollar. And for those that don't have quite that amount of money to do that, we've reduced the time and we let you go home, but we still give you the same quality type teaching Mm -hmm. on Friday night and Saturday because there are these needs. And you know, you mentioned something, Pete. There's not only the needs of those that are struggling in marriage or married again, but there are those that are contemplating marriage. Here we're going into June, the bride Mm, month, the wedding month. What an opportunity for people to come to this. 
And those of you that know friends that are getting married, this would be a great pre-wedding gift that you can give to them, well, helping them go through this conference that can literally point them in the right direction right from the beginning of their marital relationship. Or maybe you just need a little refresher course, right? Yes. In our marriage journey, uh, you know, I mean, you know how we kind of fall off a little bit. We're not, we're not hurting too much. We don't feel like there's any real big problem in, in our marriage. But maybe you've been married 20, 25 years, and you know, it's time for a little bit of a tune-up, maybe. I really like what you're saying because. Because a lot of times people won't come if they think, oh, we're going to have to unpack all of this painful baggage. Yeah. And no, they Stand up in front of that. people and talk about our problems and yeah, all that stuff. And they don't have to do that. Too intimate. All that. No, no, it's not really for that. My my phrase I like is good, better, best. Never let it rest in your good is better and your better is best. So where are you on that? Are you good? Be better. If you're better, you can be the best. And this marital seminar called Building Healthy Marriages and Families, because we'll also talk about how to connect better to your kids, to your stepkids, to adult kids that are in your your family, all those issues as much as we can in a Friday night and a Saturday session. And we need to really have a pre-registration, though, here, right? So, it would be helpful so we can have all the materials and all the food available for you for Friday night and Saturday. And if they can't come Friday night, they can come on Saturday. Okay, so, even so you don't have to do the whole... You can, you can pick it up on Saturday if you need to. Absolutely. Come as much as you can. FloridaBibleCollege.com. Florida Bible College. If I can get that out properly. <laughs> FloridaBibleCollege.com. And you, as you mentioned, there is a charge because of there, there's food, there's resources mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, attached with this very important uh, seminar. Actually, they're not going to spend any money. They're investing their money in this because they will yeah. get a return on it that's more lasting than just a meal. It's going to change their lives, change their relationships. And you know, when you have a healthy relationship, things just seem to go better when you go through the struggles and issues of life. You know, I like, uh, you know, I was just looking at the topics. I love the 14 aspects of effective communication. Mm. That is so important. That that almost seems like the bottom, the bottom line, the foundation. Uh, besides the Bible and Christ, but a good foundation to any relationship is communication. As a counselor in my past, I remember that uh, when people would come in, they'd say, I've got a communication breakdown. Well, really, the issue is they had a respect breakdown. They really didn't respect the other person, so Mm. communication wasn't good. But it's even deeper than that. You don't respect someone that you don't trust. So really, it's a trust breakdown that breaks down the respect, that breaks down the communication. And we're going to unpack that a little bit to show you how to work yourself through that very quickly and have that communication that you so desperately want, far more than just, what's the weather like today? And what are we going to get at the store today? Yeah, exactly. Have you ever uh, watched the body language during these seminars? Oh, my. <laughs> Isn't that something? You know, sometimes they're not facing each other. Maybe our legs are crossed away from each other. You know, that body language that you pick up. But as the seminar goes on, as the day goes on, can you f- visually see couples coming to closer together, can't you? You can. And by the end of these types of conferences that we do, they're holding hands, they're talking better, and they're really been wanting more. When's the next one? We'd like to be, we, we could have brought someone. I wish we would have invited so-and-so, you know? Yeah, I know a couple that would just be perfect for, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We're talking, this is Dr. Stan Pons, and, and you're listening to a special edition of Make It Clear today as we talk about building healthy, healthy relationships, all part of the Grace and Truth Conference coming up in March. Absolutely. Well, we move from Friday to Saturday, and now on Sunday morning, we now talk about building a healthy relationship with God. You know, really, that's at the very center of it. But we saved it for Sunday morning because that's our time that often we set aside for corporate worship, although we really worship 24-7. So on Sunday at 1030, we're going to be talking about what are the marks of an unhealthy relationship um, and then, uh, excuse me, what, what, are, what does it mean to have a healthy relationship with God? And we want to move away from legalism so that we love the Lord from the inside out. But here's a question. Can we ever break a relationship with God and then become what we might say disowned by God? Now, that's a question that some people need to have answered so that they can really draw closer to the Lord. And then finally, very practical biblical steps, biblical steps in developing and then maintaining intimacy with God. So that's Sunday, and if you're not already involved in a church, we want you to be faithful to your church. That's that's part of our core value at Florida Bible College. But at the same time, if you are looking for a church and you want to be a part of this, we're going to be doing this on the campus of Circle Community Church, 2200 Pembroke Drive. It's the same place where the college is. And again, you can go to FloridaBibleCollege.com and get that information. And if you want to, you can certainly call us. So on Now, that's in the Maitland area, right? That's in the Maitland area, okay. right, right off Maitland Boulevard. Okay. 
All right, that's so we talked about on th- Wednesday night and Thursday night. That's just general relationship with others, building healthy ones. And then also on Friday and Saturday, marriage and family. On Sunday, we're going to be dealing with building a healthy relationship with God. But we have something on Monday. Wow, this conference just keeps going and going and going, doesn't it? it oh, that's does. great. First aid for healing broken relationships. This one is a little bit more specifically designed with pastors, Christian leaders, and counselors Mm, in mind. Now, we're not implying at all that pastors and Christian workers do not know how to do on-the-spot counseling. All we're trying to do is to give you access to Dr. Carl Elkins, who will give a very special seminar on providing immediate first aid when someone comes to you and they're in immediate crisis, whatever that might be. And so he would like to give you some of those truths. And so we're going to talk about how do you diffuse negative energy in a crisis where now you got shouting and things that are just out of out of order, chaos. What do you do to render spiritual first aid to a broken relationship, at least to point them in the right direction? And then we're going to answer that very important question. When you do want to go see a counselor, is there a difference between Christian counselors, secular counseling, and hmm. biblical counseling? And what's the nuanced differences and where you should go to look for a good counselor? So again, we're going to give you that and so much more. Now, that is a special seminar on Monday, and we know many people are at work, but those of you that can break away and be a part of this is from 8.30 until noon as you get a concentrated study here on first aid for healing broken relationships. Sounds like an important half of the day. Probably not a bad way to start the week. It would be great. And of course, the material you'll have, you can take with you. But again, our desire is not just to you know love them and leave them we want you to come we're going to love on you give you this great material but we're then going to build a relationship with you that'll go on and on and on long after the grace and truth conference that's march 1st through the 6th so you've got building healthy relationships you've got marriage and the family your relationship with god and finally first aid for healing broken relationships on that monday that targets as you said, maybe targets pastors mm-hmm. and, and, and caregivers, yes. right? Yes, um, that's a good uh, Christian leaders. Um, so put your team together. And it's Monday, too. It is. And some of these folks have the day off. They do. Right? So that's good planning. And I have one more bit of excitement that's going on through that March 1st through the 6th. And that's going to be a very special college for a day. We believe that through all the energy of this Grace and Truth Conference, there'll be people that'll say, well, tell me more about Florida Bible College. And so we have a college for a day. And that's on Friday during the day. So if you have kids or homeschooled, you're thinking about going to school, whether you want to go into full-time ministry and get a full degree or whether you just want to get some special training to do some lay work, whether you want to go on campus or whether you want to take our courses online, College for a day is when you want to, uh, is what you want to be at for that day. We're going to have a chapel program. You'll be able to sit through a part of a class. We're going to have special speakers or admissions people will be there. A great opportunity to discover if it's God's will for you to further your biblical education and be trained for ministry or at least in the Bible at Florida Bible College. Now, College for a Day is, again, embedded in Grace and Truth Conference. It's Friday, March the 3rd, and so we'd like very much for you to come. It begins at 8.30 in the morning, so please be a part of that. Stay as long as you can, and then you'll learn more about the college, and we'll answer our vision, our purpose, and how we can serve you and serve the Orlando Christian community. Well, that looks like a very important fact-finding day right there on the 3rd. It is. We're talking with, uh, well, this is a special edition of Make It Clear with Dr. Stan Pons. He's your host. I'm Pete Cat just kind of sitting in and invited to join you for the special edition of Make It Clear. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Doctor, uh, on 94.9 FM, AM 950, The Word. We've been talking about Grace and Truth Conference, which is coming up in March, early March, March 1 through 6. Right. And this is, uh, why, why would someone hesitate to even sign up for this or not be a part of it? Well, there could be a, a couple of reasons. One could be, I'm so busy, I don't have time to go to something like this. And it's like, we are too busy, but we're also too busy not to. This is the very conference that will probably reduce a lot of the conflicts you have in your life that drain you from your time management. Mm-hmm. And so by going to this, you'll be able to strengthen relationships, and you won't have to go back and revisit so many conflicted issues in your home. So actually,
actually it's an investment in your time. So that would be one. The other might be, well, there's so many of these meetings that you're having. Is this is it's so long? I can't come to all of them. That's okay. Cherry pick it. It's like going to a buffet. We put all the great food out there, all cooked by the great speakers and teachers. But you come to the one that you believe the Lord is leading you to come to, whether it's a relationship in general or marriage or family or God, or you're doing caregiving and you need to have some help in working with someone in crisis. Well, that Wednesday and Thursday, the first and second are absolutely free. Anyway, yeah. right? So yes. Yes. whenever your schedule allows, it's mm-hmm. as important to make time at least for a couple of these, a uh, couple of the meetings. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it's March 1st through the 6th and it's held on the campus of Florida Bible College. And here's the address just to kind of give it in your mind. It's 2200 Pembroke Drive and it's Orlando, but it's right off Maitland Boulevard. So it's kind of like on the, 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 the edge of Maitland in North Orlando. Right near where we all have all that wonderful construction oh, going on right now. Yes. I, they say it's going to be wonderful when it's done, and I'm sure it will be. But uh, for right now, we have to put up a little traffic snarls there, don't we, from time to time. But but uh, nicely located right off of I-4. It is, it is. And again, for more information, go to FloridaBibleCollege.com, or you can certainly call our office at 407-412-9322. Let me give that again very slowly. 407, of course, and then it's 412 412- Nine three two two. You mentioned the uh, relationship in marriage and family, mm-hmm. building a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of us uh, recently, probably over the last few months, mm-hmm. have seen kind of a breakdown in that yes. when it comes to communication. Yes. Maybe we're at, at odds over certain things with our spouse mm-hmm. and uh, and our friends and relationships. Do we address any of that during this conference? We will, and probably things have really percolated up to the surface, especially when we went through this political you know the 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 voting and all this election thing mm-hmm. and that is really uh, shockingly has created a uh, more conflict with people now we're not here dealing with the political issue but we are dealing with the broken relationships as a result of some of those things as well as in families today we've heard stories of people actually divorcing over mm-hmm. this having having serious problems relationship problems over an election Family it's reunions aren't the me. same, you know, it's, it's yeah. all of that. And we need to know that there's a much bigger reason. And of course it goes back again to the bigger philosophy. And those that are Christian will understand this. We're to love the Lord with all of our heart, soul, and mind. But then we have to love those whom the Lord loves. And the Lord says we're to love others. And now how do we do that better? What is the way we do that? What are the biblical principles? What are the practical steps so that we can build that relationship? And part of the reason isn't just so that we have happiness in our life. It's so that we can have a ministry in someone else's life. Do we find that maybe some of this past election is just more of an excuse, as you said, for a much deeper-rooted relationship problem? Absolutely. They can always kind of blame place, and this is a good way to do that. Yeah. Conference coming up early March, March 1 through 6. Do not miss out on the Grace and Truth Conference with Florida Bible College. And I'm speaking with Dr. Stan Pons. He's the host of Make It Clear, which is where we are right now, a special edition of Make It Clear. Yeah. And I'm really pleased. My name is Pete Paquette. Really pleased to have been um, uh, asked to step in and, and, and just chit-chat with you about this wonderful event that's uh, going to be coming up. So, folks, March 1 through 6, do not hesitate to get registered right away. And as you said, you can pick and choose if as your schedule allows. Now, the marriage conference, third and fourth uh, conference there, is really, really important couple of days. Let's talk a little bit more about that, too, the relationship building. I will. You know, in order to have a close relationship with someone, generally here's what happens. You've got conflict going on. Once you have the conflict, that's not always a bad thing because if you can handle conflict in a de-negative, energized environment, if you know what I mean, then what happens, you can then talk about what are the differences. And usually what happens then is clarification happens. So from conflict and you power down, now you can clarify each other's position and then find out how you can have a win-win in that. And that's what brings the peace. We're going to show you how to do that during that seminar. This is a very frank discussion, too, about relationships, isn't it? It is. And, you know, nothing really makes a person find it more difficult to go home than to know that they left in the morning with an argument, and now they've got to continue it on when they get home, and then they don't want to go home any longer. And then you begin that drift And when you have that drift, you're heading in a direction that Satan can take this thing and really ruin a relationship, ruin a life, ruin a ministry, ruin a family. And we don't want to do that. We're here to put families back together again, and not just so that they survive, but so that they can thrive.
Some of the wonderful themes for the marriage relationship, for the building a healthy relationship in marriage and family, part of the part of the uh, seminar, part of the uh, week, almost a week long. Well, one through six, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. first through the sixth of March, Grace and Truth Conference. Uh, some of them are why there is a biblical longing for relationships, the top commonly identified needs, mm-hmm. uh, how to relationally hurt or heal your mate. And children. So that's a thing, too. Sometimes we forget about the children and the, the that part of the equation. Generally, what happens is when you have a breakdown in the first marriage, it's often over money issues. Not always, but often. Mm-hmm. But when you go into a second marriage, the breakdown really centers more around the children. Yours, mine, ours. And so we need to talk them through that. And we want to show you how that you can um, overcome the failure from the past. Sometimes what happens is we bring the baggage from a past relationship into the new one because we haven't learned how to properly deal with that baggage from the past so that we can enter into a better relationship as we move forward. I'd like to step back and talk a little bit more about the uh, college for a day. Sure. This looks really a, like a lot of fun, an open house, so to speak, yes. for the Florida Bible College, which uh, we know in decades past has been one of the top Florida a Bible college, or one of the top Bible colleges in the country. That's correct. You know, our curriculum really is designed for a one year, we'll call it foundation or gap year, for those that really want to be concentrated in the Word before they go off to another school, another secular university, or another Christian liberal arts school, or for those that are wanting to, uh, their, their second half of their life, I want to do mission work, I want to help more in the church. Sure. How do we get grounded? That's first yeah. year. They get yeah. a certificate for that, too, once they complete those courses. Then they go for a two-year associate's degree where we build on those courses, whether it's evangelism, discipleship, Old Testament, New Testament, survey, apologetics, all those things to help them. But more than that, they can get a four-year bachelor's degree, and then we point them in the direction of pastoral studies if they want to be a pastor or they want to be a church administrator, associate pastor, whether they want to go into youth work, children's work, worship, or missions. There are special concentrations where they can get a double major, and they'll learn all about that on our college for a day. You know, there is no age limit, too. Once your heart is calling, been called to something like this, you got to answer. You know, back in the 60s, you'd find a lot more young people going from high school into Bible college. Whatever was going on, that's what was happening. Now we're finding that it's a little bit older that are coming into Bible college to be able to train for ministry. And so you have to then make sure that your classes are adaptable to where they are and their ability to study, retain the knowledge, and then to go on. And so we've done that. We have what we call that flex system to make sure that everybody has a win-win situation if they put in the work. Florida Bible College with a college for a day. Check it out on uh, on March 3rd as w- while you're there for the Grace and Truth Conference. Absolutely. Or even if you're not going to be going to the Grace and Truth Conference or maybe just picking up one of the one of the uh, seminars during the conference, really stop in and say say hi. Say hi Dr. Stan Pons. Good to meet you that and, would be and the great. staff and everyone there. We're going to have all the the teachers there, the administrators, those that will work with us. We'll also have uh, other material. Maybe you just want to be more quiet. You're afraid you're going to get a, a sales pitch as soon as you walk in the door no, for those yeah, of you that are yeah. more shy. You just come in quietly. I'm more like that. I'll, I want to I may sound like I'm really good behind the mic and all of that, but in reality when I go to a new place, I don't want anybody to bother me. So when I go to these conventions, I just like to quietly go up to a table don't try to shove stuff at me Mm -hmm. and so i want you to know you will be left alone to just kind of go around and then when you want to talk to someone you can if you don't that's all right too so you just come and be a part of college for a day or just come in any of these events and pick up literature if you want Let's talk a little bit about the guest speaker uh, that's going to have the conference speaker dr carl elkins yes he's going to be there on monday He'll be actually there. Will, all, he be, will he be there the whole time? He is, he, he's doing the main speaking. I'll do some uh, s- uh, sub-speaking in there, but he'll be our main speaker. Dr. Carl Elkins is a unique man. He himself has his own counseling center in the uh, Austin area, but he also goes into various churches and conducts all their counseling. First Baptist of Houston uses him, a lot of that. He's a graduate of Dallas Theological Seminary. He's been mentored by uh, people such as um, Dr. Norm Geisler and Josh McDowell and those. So he's mm-hmm. really solid in his teaching, but in his own personal life, you might like to know that his sweet wife and him are in this ministry together, so you're going to see someone who deals with life just like you do, but they're in ministry, and yet she still carries the struggles of multiple sclerosis, so she Mm. has MS, and so with all of those special needs, Carl is ministering to her as well as taking care of this ministry, and then coming here to Orlando with his wife to be able to share these truths with us, so again, Carl Elkins, yeah, yeah, he's going to minister and mentor at the same time. That's fantastic, so folks, uh, once again, the phone number, Uh, doctor, 407 
Four one two nine three two two or FloridaBibleCollege.com. The old fashioned way, right? You got that phone, you can you can actually go to the website, yeah. all sorts of great information there too. Whatever we can do to help. Folks, you're listening to a special edition of Make It Clear today. We're talking about the Grace and Truth Conference with Dr. Stan Pons. He's your host of Make It Clear every day mm-hmm. here on the Word, and we're really pleased about that as well. We got a lot of great um uh, feedback, uh which we're pleased about to hear mm-hmm. about your ministry, and I know a lot of people have reached out to you from uh here you on the radio it has been exciting to get letters and emails and cards and all of that from people that are hearing us and especially requesting the message they just heard uh, it's a 30 minute program and sometimes people don't hear it or are able to hear it from beginning to end but they get into it and they say my goodness i gotta hear all of this and so then they co- correspond with us can you send us the rest of that we want to hear this mm-hmm. or they're here and they think I know somebody who needs that. Can you get me that so I can give it to them? And you know what? We never charge, Pete. If they want it, we'll give it to them. They can forward it to anybody. If people want to support the ministry because they believe in who we are and what we're doing, we thank you for that because that only helps us continue and expand. But uh, we're not here to, to make money off of people. We're just here to serve them, and God takes care of the rest. Well, we thank you for that, the mission. Mm-hmm. Uh, so March 1 through 6, mm-hmm. Building Healthy Relationships is the theme. It's the Grace and, Grace and Truth Conference mm-hmm. at uh, Florida Bible College. Absolutely. And very excited about that. Dr. Stan Pons here, your host of Make It Clear. And this is a special edition of Make It Clear today. Again, uh, March 1 through 6, uh, building a healthy relationship with others, marriage togetherness, so to speak, mm, right, yes. for a couple of days. Absolutely. And then you've got, of course, our healthy relationship with God, building a healthy relationship with God but on Sunday. Yes. How important is that? The foundation right there. Well, you know, the Lord says if you're not right with others, you won't be right with him. And I believe if you're not really right with the Lord, then you won't have the love of God in your heart to be able to handle loving other people. And that's why he says, "Love me first and then love others." Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's, it's a stair step and it's got to you got to start at the top, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Um so a wonderful count, wonderful event. Mm-hmm. And boy, I tell you folks, put this on your your calendar, yes. Whether it's uh, one day, it starts on Wednesday. This is Wednesday through Monday, so lots of opportunity there to become involved with this uh, conference. And I know that our program today is not only broadcast locally right here, but the signal goes far. And if you want to, and you want to come in and drive in, or if you need a hotel, there are some great hotels right near Florida Bible College. And if you just contact us at floridabiblecollege dot com and say, please give us some of the hotels, we'd like to come and be a part of that we'll help you with it whether you fly into orlando airport or wherever you are listening right now on the web whatever and you want to be a part of this you contact us and we will carefully shepherd you to make sure that your experience at the grace and truth conference is all that you'd hope it to be at florida bible college easy to find just off i-4 in maitland the maitland area on pembroke Pembroke drive 2200 pembroke so easy to find easy to get to easy accommodations Mm -hmm. and i tell you don't miss conference coming up absolutely thanks for helping us out today pete and thank you for joining us for this special edition of make it clear with dr stan pons from florida bible college god bless you you are listening to make it clear if today's message helped you to better understand god's word let me encourage you to be with us next time or go to our website makeitclear.org for more resources If Stan's biblical teaching is helping you to understand God's Word more clearly and to apply it to your life each day, please remember, this ministry is listener-supported. You can become a partner with Make It Clear and take this teaching to other believers around the world by making a tax-deductible donation to Make It Clear, P.O. Box 607-901, Orlando, Florida, 32860. Or you may do so securely online at makeitclear.org. On behalf of Dr. Stan Bonds, Bible teacher and president of Florida Bible College, thanks for listening and invite a friend to join you next time for Make It Clear.